hands and worship as I bless in your holy name. Oh, you deserve the glory and the honor and the honor. Oh, I lift my hands and worship as I praise your holy name. For you are great, you do miracle so great. There is no one else like you, Jesus. Oh, there is no one else like you. For you are great, you do miracle so great. Oh, there is no one else like you, Jesus. There is no one else like you. Now, whatever your need, just ask him right now. He's a great God this morning. Oh, you just ask and he will deliver this morning. Oh, speak to him right now. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we worship you this morning. We glorify your name this morning. We bless your name this morning. Oh, you are great this morning. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we worship you this morning, Lord. We bless your name this morning, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Oh, we welcome your presence, Lord. Oh, we can't do without you this morning, Father. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. This morning, we love you this morning. Oh, hallelujah! Just because of who you are, Lord, we worship you. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah! Do you love him this morning? Oh, hallelujah! Let's sing that song, praise him, praise him in the morning. Hallelujah! Praise him when the sun goes down. Oh, let us praise Him. Oh, let us praise Him. Oh, praise Him in the morning. Let us praise Him in the noon time. Let us praise Him. Let us praise Him, let us praise Oh, praise Him, praise Him in the morning Let us praise Him, oh, let us praise Praise Him, praise Him Oh, praise Him when the sun goes down Let us love Him, let us love Him Love. Oh, let us love him in the morning. Let us love him in the noon time. Let us love him. Let us love him. Oh, love him. Love him when the sun go. Sing it one more time. Oh, let us praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Let us praise him. Praise the King this morning, praise Him in the morning. Let us praise Him in the noontime. Let us praise, let us praise Him, let us praise Him. Oh, praise Him when the sun goes down. This little light of mine, oh, singing this little light of mine. a little light of mine singing I'm gonna let it shine oh singing this little light of mine oh I'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine oh this 
just a little light of mine, just a little light of mine. Oh, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, just a little light of mine, singing. I'm gonna let it shine. But don't you reach it, but I one more time. Oh, sing it. There's a little light of. Say, shine your light, brother. Oh, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. Yes, I'm gonna let it shine. Sing it. There's a little light of mine. Oh, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Oh, sing it. I won't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, I won't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Sing it. I won't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine one more time. Oh, this a little light of mine. Oh, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. Yes, I'm gonna let it shine. Singing this little light of mine. Oh, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be a wonderful name. Oh, hallelujah. How many love him this morning? Oh, glory be to your name. Let's sing that song, I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed. Oh, by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, I've been redeemed. Yes, by the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Saved and sanctified I am. All my sins are under the blood. I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. Oh, by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Saved and sanctified I am. All my sins are under the blood. I've been redeemed. One more time. Oh, I've been redeemed. Oh, by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, I've been redeemed. Yes, by the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Saved and sanctified I am. All my sins are under the blood. I've, if you know you're redeemed, say it one more time. Oh, I've been redeemed. Oh, by the blood of the Lamb. Yes, I've been redeemed. Oh, by the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Saved and sanctified I am. All my sins are under the blood. I've been, oh, I can't stop singing now. I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. By the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb, I've been redeemed, I've been redeemed. Oh, by the blood of the Lamb, I've been redeemed, by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, say that sanctified I am. All my sins are under the blood, I've been redeemed. Oh, 
enough to make a joyful noise unto the Lord this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be a wonderful name. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's sing that song. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I say yes, Lord, to your will and to your way this morning. Doesn't matter the situation this morning. We're going to look at what God is saying this morning. It doesn't matter what man is saying. What God says is what goes this morning. I say yes, Lord. I say yes. Oh, I say yes, Lord. I say yes. I say yes. Where you lead me? Oh, where you lead me? I will go. I will go. Oh, I say yes, Lord. I say yes. I say yes. I say yes. I say yes, Lord. Oh. I say yes, I say yes. Where you lead me, where you lead me, that's where I will go. I say yes, Lord. I say yes, I say yes. Just talk to me right now in your own way. Oh, doesn't matter your situation this morning. Oh, Lord, you lead the way, Lord. And I will follow, Lord Father. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be a wonderful name. Oh, whatever your will is this morning, Lord. Oh, that is what I want to do, Lord Father. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, lead me, Lord Father. Oh, I want to go, Lord Father. I want to go, Lord Father. Oh, hallelujah. One more time. Oh, I say yes, Lord. Oh, I say yes. I say yes. I say yes, Lord. Oh, I say yes. Where you lead me, where you lead me. morning Lord Father oh I have no strength in my own Lord oh hallelujah 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 yes Lord Jesus oh hallelujah hallelujah oh thank you Lord Father oh come Lord Jesus Blessed be a wonderful name. As we change out of a service, let's be under great expectation. Just keep the motor humming and let God speak to us this morning. Let's sing that song again. You deserve the glory and the honor. And let's welcome His presence as the man of God comes and minister this to us this morning. Hallelujah. You deserve the glory. And the honor, oh, I lift my hands in worship as I bless 
your holy name you deserve the glory oh and the honor oh i lift my hands in worship as a blessing your holy name for you are great you do miracle so great there is no one else like you oh, oh there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracle so great oh there is no one else like you glory and the honor and the honor make it a prayer right now oh i lift my hands in worship as i bless your holy name you deserve the glory forget about who's next to you right now oh and the honor i lift my hands As I bless your holy name, for you are great, you the miracle so great, there is no one else like you, oh Lord, there is no one else like you, for you. This morning, oh hallelujah! Oh, you are mighty this morning, you are my healer this morning. Oh, my defense, my high tower. Oh, hallelujah! 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 Oh, blessed to be a wonderful name. and worship and I bless in your holy name for you I pray you do miracle so great oh there is no one else like you oh there is no one else like you more time. Oh, yes. There is no one else like you. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There is no one else like you this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be a wonderful name. Blessed be a wonderful name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Oh, let's give him some worship this morning. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you are my God this morning. Oh, there is no one else like him this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down Here I am to say that You're my God Oh, you're altogether lovely 
all together worthy. Wonderful to me. Let's take it up. Oh, here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together. Oh, you're all together lovely. All together worthy. All together wonderful to me. Just worship him right now. Forget about who's next to you. Just give him some praise and glory. Just worship him right now. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. Oh, you're all together, love. Oh, all together worthy. Oh, all together wonderful to me. Oh, here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Raise your hands and praise the Lord this morning. Father, we thank you for the spirit of praise that we feel in the building this morning. We pray and come and inhabit the praise of your people. May you be magnified. May, be, may, may you be glorified in our midst. We bless your name. We worship you. We honor you. We love you this morning because you first loved us, Lord Jesus. We were wretched. We were miserable. We were blind. We were naked. But your love has tended to us to pull us out. And we thank you for that love. We thank you for your grace. Have your own way this morning. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Why do you turn around and greet somebody in Jesus' name? Worship, here I am to bow. Here I am to say that you're my God. And all together love me. All together worthy. All together. beautiful inside you this morning thank you brother Joshua for that song service you appreciate brother John Mark on the piano praise God hallelujah glory God is blessing amen thank you oh my 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 God bless you, you may be seated I want to greet you in Jesus name such a privilege hallelujah to be here and to feel his presence my god what manner of love is this that we could be called the sons of god i uh, trust all of you feeling good this morning good about jesus good about his grace good that your cup is running over 
If your cup is not running over, he's still pouring. Amen. Just keep on holding on, hold on. Just hold on for the rest. Hold on for the rest. Don't, don't move yet. Just hold on for the rest. He, he's going to pour it on. Hallelujah. I want to greet all those who are connected to us on the internet. God bless you. Welcome to our Sunday morning feasting around the word of God. Feasting around the Good to see Sister Karen. God bless you. Amen. She is recuperating. And we have some prayer requests to take care after service. We'll deal with that. But I want you to remember in prayer uh, tomorrow on my way to Cameroon. We have some meetings there. On my way back, passing through London, have some meeting in London. On my way coming back home. So God is doing tremendous things. Amen. All over the world, there's a bright body. Something is happening, friend. Oh, yes. Don't let building and married and getting in married and selling and, and now normal living don't let that fool you don't let that fool you god sent a prophet before the terrible day of the lord the terrible day coming you know but before that he sent a messenger to prepare our hearts for jesus coming people don't want to believe that oh they're just in this way and just in that way but god change it not he's not adjusting his program for nobody this program is just on time so we are privileged we are blessed when you come to church you come to worship you come to pray so how many brought their fire with them because we, we got a word we got a word last week light yourself on fire and bring your fire with you to church get yourself on fire from home and come with home fire we want we want home good old you ever hear good old cook, home cooking food that's not fast food that's a real good old well we want good old Good old home cooking, bun in your knees, prayer meeting, hallelujah, groaning, traveling. And when you come to church, my God, the preacher don't know what to do because you're pulling, you're pulling, you're pulling. Praise God. And your needs are being met by the word. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit giving you directive as to what to do and, and how to operate. Then you know you heard from God. Nobody, nobody I, I have to interpret it to you. Because you have the ability to hear direct from God. God put that ability in his elect. Nobody can take that voice out of you. Nobody can take that seed out of you. Nobody can take that hearing ability from inside of you. It's inside of you this morning. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you ready for the word this morning? Oh, hallelujah. So we want to stand... We want to turn our Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and 1 Peter chapter 2 for scripture reading. Certainly blessed last week to be here. Ministry of Reconciliation. First Corinthians chapter 13 want to read that old chapter and then we just read the first verse of 14. Do I speak with the tongues of men and angels and have not charity? I am become a sounding brass or tinkling cymbal. Do I have the gift of prophecy? Understand all mysteries and all knowledge. Do I have all faith so I can remove mountains and have not charity? I am nothing. And though I bestow my goods to feed the poor, though I give my body to be burned, have the charity, it profited me nothing. Charity suffered long and is kind. Charity vaunted it, and charity envied not. Charity vaunted not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Bear it all things, believe it all things, hope it all things, endure it all things. Charity never fail it. Whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child, understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. And now we see through glass darkly, and then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. 
nor by that faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Let's continue. Follow after charity. And let's go to First Peter chapter 2. want to read from verse 4. To whom come in also as a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Ye also, here's the description, as lively stones, not dead ones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, he that believeth on him, shall not be confounded. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made head of the corner, stone of stumbling, rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient whereunto they were appointed. But ye are chosen generation, royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. Let's pray once more. Father, we love you and we thank you for your word. Feed us, Lord, with your, the bread of life. Break the bread of life unto us this morning. Lord, may the people be strengthened in the inner man. May the love of God vibrate through this building here. Take all the evil out, Lord. Take all the unbelief out, Father. And may a revival fire break into every soul here. In Jesus' name I ask it. If they are sick in our midst, heal them. If they are born in our midst, free them. If they are backsliders in our midst, restore them. If they are sinners in our midst, save them. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen and amen. As you stake your seat, give the Lord some praises. Hallelujah. I have a title, Follow After Charity. And I have an inspiration, Charity Never Feel It. Follow After Charity. And that word in the Amplified is to eagerly pursue and seek to acquire this love. Make it your aim or your great quest. Pursue it. Go after it. Press towards it. Make that effort. So just to connect back to last week's service, we read the scripture from 1 Peter 4, 8, and above all things have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover a multitude of sins. Colossians 3, and above all these things put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Amen. And where we got that inspiration from, uh, it was God, by 2 Corinthians 5, it was God personally present in Christ, reconciling and restoring the world to favor with himself, not counting up and holding against men their trespasses, but canceling them and committing to us the message of reconciliation or restoration to favor. Amen. So God's purpose this morning is that each one of you will be restored into favor with God. That's why we are here. We are here to be restored Hallelujah. into favor with God. Amen. When man fell, we fell out of favor with God. And God put angels to guard the tree in the Garden of Eden that man in that fallen condition wouldn't partake of that tree of life. Isn't that right? Amen. But when Jesus came, he bring, he bring the connection. It come like your phone get cut. And when Jesus came, he come to restore the phone line Amen. that you could have access to your father. So when he died, he paid a price to reconnect you Amen. into heavenly places. Amen. To reconnect you into your sonship, into your godship. Amen. To reconnect you with your inheritance because Adam lost it. Adam forfeited it. And God wants to reconnect his people because it belongs to you. Amen. The devil can't own it. His hand is too greasy and filthy to own this inheritance. It belongs to our in the sons of God. So we have to come to a place to recognize what is our redemptive rights. Yeah. Because the devil can't interfere with it and you can't partake of it if you don't know it's yours. Yeah. That is given for you yeah. and you have a right to it. Yeah. Glory to God. How many understand that now? Yeah. 
Oh, glory to God. So the devil, he is only jealous because he cannot possess what it belongs to you. He cannot ever inherit it because the book that Adam had, he went back in the hands of the original owner. Satan was waiting to catch the book because he saw the book slipping out of Adam's hand. That was the objective to take away the book of redemption, but it was sealed. The mystery of it was sealed. So when the devil looking to get the deed to take over the earth, it went back in the hands of the original owner, waiting for the cry to come out. Who is worthy? to take the book and to loose the seven seals there are oh glory god and john was weeping because there was no man worthy a man had to come forth a kinsman had to come forth and here come that bloody bleeding lamb of god Hallelujah. here come that bloody bleeding lamb of god even jesus oh he died to take the book oh we are free this morning oh hallelujah hallelujah here am i to worship bow down and the four beasts say amen and the 24 elders they begin to worship and thousands times thousands oh that's what we here to do oh hallelujah so every service you're supposed to be more excited maybe seated every service you should be more you should be more thrilled to know that we are closer than the day before Amen. oh hallelujah you're being restored back to favor yes. so god take you to plant you by the by a, by, a, by your rivers of water Amen. where your leaves will not wither Amen. and whatsoever you do going to Amen. prosper with the ungodly is not so Amen. blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stand in the way of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of god and in that law doth he meditate day and night he shall be he shall be he sh you can't stop that man Amen. give me a housewife give me a preacher give me anybody that gonna put god first i will show you a man that is successful despite all what the devil put in front of here oh we have something to shout about oh we have something to praise god about you may be seated if you don't want to shout i'll shout for you but this message is too real for me to sit dead i will shout for you and me too but I ain't gonna let no rocks out praise me. Jesus said if they don't shout, if they don't worship, the rocks gonna cry out. I don't care if your roof blows last night. You're supposed to give God worship and tell the devil he's a liar. You get in another roof. Oh, give the Lord some praises. hallelujah I don't want you to be predictable I want you to be unpredictable because the devil predicting you long time because you're born in sin shape iniquity your heart condemn you you do this something around the devil understand that he long, he long time in his business he has nothing new to discover he has nothing new to unfold it's only God has stuff that the devil know nothing about that's why he put silence under the seventh seal to confuse the devil he don't know what happening there he don't even know what happening right now he don't even know you're being loosed you're being set free he don't even know the Holy Ghost has been disguised as the word and you have received it in the word form he don't even know that the transforming power the power of love is here oh glory to God devil don't know that brother Branham came to introduce us to Messiah not introduce us to be message people
you're supposed to have a personal relationship with Christ. Amen. You love the brethren, you love the brethren, that's fine, but you have to know Christ. Yes, and Christ is the word. Yes, Amen. 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 Solomon built a house. Right. How be the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands? All right. All right. Solomon built a great house. Yes. Beautiful house with stones cut from all around the world. Yes. Honed in their individual country. <laughs> honed in their individual country that when Solomon got the stones he just had to fit it here fit it there it's already cut already honed already shaped already formed not even my hammer not even my saw was heard he just laying it there laying it there behold I lay in Zion for a foundation of stone and God began to fit them stones and you are a lively stone that God is about to cut that God is about to shape that God is about to hone we also are lively stones you have got to know who you are oh, oh. I like that I like that Normally, see a stone on the ground. That's a, that's a stone, not a dead stone. He's saying, "You are one of that, but a lively one." That means you can raise your hands. That means you can shout. That means you're no dumb dog in Israel. Praise God! You could open your mouth and give God praises. That means heaven could look down this morning and said, "There's a bunch of people in Sandy Grandy that you don't care." They don't care who in front of them. They don't care who behind them. They don't care who at the side of them. They don't care what happened yesterday. They don't care what will happen tomorrow. It's like no fate is. It looked like they're under expectation for, for anything. It looked like anything could happen. I can see devils begin to leave already. Some already going down the steps. Some heading out through the door. They said, not this morning. Not this Sunday. Oh, glory to God. Not this Sunday. Not here. What is coming? The capstone. The headstone. The stone the builders refuse. That's the love of God. But it will come. Follow after charity. What did Paul teach us? You may be seated. Do I give my body to be burned? Do I put my name on a big building and say I give everybody this and everybody that? All right. Zero. Yeah. Nada. All right. But if you think that tough, what about knowing, having known all mysteries? Right. It have plenty of knowledge of mysterious yes. preachers, you know. Yes, yes, yes. They can bring mystery after mystery after mystery, but don't you know all of that? Yes. Let me check your charity. Right. Yes. God bring a thermometer. Yes. It's a charity thermometer. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. And when you dip it so, yes. recognize charity ain't hitting at all. Yes. Because charity suffered long in its camp. Charity voted at itself. Charity is not puffed up. It's not easily provoked. It thinks that no evil. It rejoices in nothing iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Come on now. Come on now. Woo! My God. Don't, I'm going to dance all by myself. I'm going to have a revival all by myself. I don't even want to dance with me, but I'm going to dance like David danced all by myself. shout is at last week I told you you didn't start to shout here you were starting to shout since before the foundation of the world that's what the devil don't understand he can't take out your shouting shoes you put on your shouting shoes that's why you're here this morning this is the place where God gets worship Jesus told the woman of the world woman the hour come and now is when the true I'm not hearing you the true the true Going to worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Let me see that. You can't go to a cricket match and a man get out who is the opposite side of the team and you will he get out. Man is six to win the match and you but he gets six. I wouldn't want to be sitting down next to that person. That person not supposed to be there. He's not in the spirit of what's going on. 
football match going on, goal score. Hey, what? That's a goal. Hallelujah. 84 minutes past, 0-0. Zero, zero. Six more minutes to finish the match. And somebody on your side caught a goal. And you what? That's a goal. You shouldn't be in that place at all. You're not in the spirit of the match. You're not in the spirit of the game. You're not in the spirit of the environment. And if you're not on fire this morning, you should be home. Come on, say amen, somebody. Oh, this. We know what we worship. We know why we worship. We know who we worship. Oh, God. Like Thursday, Thursday night, I just break into something Hallelujah. with the, our Father prayer. We just had the prayer meeting and I was exhorting them. I said, The first thing when they, they, they said Jesus teaches us to pray, the first thing Jesus said is, Our Father who art in heaven. Amen. He's talking nothing on earth yet. He turned them straight up in heaven. He, he didn't make one request yet. Hallowed be thy name. No request yet. Yes. You're still worshiping. Kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it in heaven. You're still accepting it. You're selling God, his will will be done. When you finish with that, you say, Give us this day. Our daily bread after you're going up in heaven. They're getting the spirit like John was in the spirit and I was caught up in the spirit and suddenly a door opened forgive us forgive us Jesus teaching them forgive us of our sins as as we forgive those Trespass against us. He didn't pray, forgive me of my sins. Forget my neighbor, yes, they're on their own. No. No, he didn't say that. He said, forgive us of our sins as we say, if you do not forgive, neither will God forgive you of your trespasses. But this morning, you want to cancel it. Come on now, we want to reconcile you back to God. You see, you may be seated. With body the cancer could fail. Your family gonna fail you. Your husband gonna fail you. Your wife gonna fail you. Your children gonna fail you. The job gonna fail you. Your money gonna fail you. The doctors may fail you, but charity never fails. It. Follow after charity. We walk into something that cannot fail, that cannot be defeated. It will push back the bull. It will calm the bees. It will roll back the storm. It will stop the doctor's knife before that. Ah! Glory to God. That's what we're talking about. That's what we are walking into. Follow after charity. They're going to arrest the maniac man. Oh, give the Lord some praises. Do I hear praises in the house this morning? You may be seated. You see, God sent a prophet to reveal the written word. This book is what was sealed. He didn't come to dismiss this book and push this book aside and say the prophet say and the prophet says. No. No man could add or take away from this book. It's original. It is God in print form. This is the second Bible, third Bible. The first was the Zodiac. The second was the Pyramid. This is the third. If I could be, I wouldn't be sacrilegious saying it would be a fourth, it would be you. You'd be a living Bible. But this is God in print. So whatever we hear as message has to be able to take us back to that. 
I feel great this morning. Scripture, 1 John 1, verse 5. This then is the message that we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Now this is not for prostitutes and drunkards and drinkers and smokers and party goers. This is church people they're talking to. So let's get that right now. This is for us. Now if we walk in the light as he's in the light if we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanseth us from all sin so once we walk in the light and my brethren over there walk in the light and my brethren down there walk in the light my brethren up there walk in the light it has to have fellowship one with another because we walk in in the light the only reason that it can't have fellowship light gone out somebody fit the switch Woo! but the blood the blood I feel like an old fashioned my god I feel like my god oh this is original <laughs> something there's a man here there's a man here that can turn on the light my god my god i'm having my seven revival glory to god oh give the lord some praises the holy ghost is here We say it. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. That's a, that's a different kind of selfie. That's a self deceiving picture. And the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins cleanse us from all unrighteousness if we say we have not sinned we make him a liar and his word is not in us so don't come with that don't try that don't play a squeaky clean don't try that I caught you this morning the blood of Jesus ah, don't give the Lord I don't know are there shouters in the house Right now, this so far from where it's supposed to be, this coming out like a hidden mystery right now. The people so far off, the path of God, that what I'm preaching here from the scriptures with this anointing upon it, it's like a hidden mystery. You may be seated. First John 2, Paul, John speaks. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you. They are no new thing. He said, but an old commandment which you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you. He said new, he said old, he said, but I'm bringing it new. It coming fresh. It coming fresh. It is freshly anointed. It is freshly inspired. It is baked from heaven this morning. You could smell the heat of this bread. Oh, come on now. Say amen, somebody. It's eaten nice. As Brother Red was saying, Grenada, it's eaten nice. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Watch. I write unto you which, watch. 
Again, a new commandment that writes unto you, which things is true in him and in you. Because the darkness is past. The true light now shineth. Verse 9. He that see it. Here we go. He is in the light and hated his brother. Is in darkness even until now. They can have all the books. Listen to every a tape at night. They're in darkness. They could go to church and have the best tie matching their socks and their shoes. They're in darkness. They could be smiling and morning, God bless you. But they have hate. They're in darkness. Who said so? God said so. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light. And there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that is hated his brother is in darkness. And walketh in darkness. And knoweth not whither he goeth. Because the darkness had blinded his eyes. So they don't even know where they're going. Because the darkness blinded their eyes. So sometimes they, take, they switch themselves and switch themselves off. Nobody had to know of the light for them, I know. Because of the hate. Because of what on the inside. They switch off. Because, you see, devil know we are sons. And, and he know if we break laws, there are penalties that goes with it. The worst one is when you trap yourself. When you end up in your prison and you have the key. Then no, nobody could unlock you really because you have the key. You, you, you put, put the gate and you turn it up and you put the key in your pocket and while I'm in prison, I'm in prison, I'm in prison. I can't forgive, I'm in prison. I vex, I'm in prison. I hate, I'm in prison. That's your prison. Do you want to come out? Because he said when you stand praying for charity, forgive. If, 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 if you have ought against any, drop it. Drop it like a hot potato. Ouch! Drop it. Drop it. Just drop it. Say them, them things like hot potato. Just drop it. Just, don't even want to think. Just drop it. What your wife did. What your husband did. What your children did. What this one do. What the neighbor. What the boss. Just drop it. Drop it. And it hurt you so bad. That's your human spirit. Drop it. Drop it. Don't even talk about it. Drop it. Verse 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If a man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, and he listed here the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not of the Father, it's of the world. And the world passed it away in the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. First John 3, verse 1, behold, what manner of love. The Father has bestowed upon us. Now, if you could see that, why you want to be terrorizing somebody? You are ISIS? You, you, you want to be a terrorist? Why, why you figure you're to terrorize somebody? When you understand what manner of love that God... Listen, I'm feeling so free. I could fly right now. If I had wings, <laughs> I might have fly. Feeling free. It's like the Son of Man set me free. Watch. Behold what man of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Amen. Therefore the world knoweth not us because it knew him not. Amen. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. Yes. Amen. Verse 14. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. Now, when we say brethren, we're not talking about brethren who bring a cake for you. you know? We're not talking about brethren who treat you nice and, and help you here and you, you get a flat tire and the brethren for every race the tire and take. No, we're not talking about that, you know. The brethren is the brethren. Good, bad, ugly, indifferent, hateful, miserable, because not all Israel is Israel. But that doesn't stop your love. Come on, say amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Amen. This is getting it real. We know, you see, you see all the scriptures here, you know. Preachers ain't gonna touch it because it's not uh, deep enough. One one person tell me that they find that I, I don't preach deep enough. I say, okay. And he's praying for me to get deeper. But uh, do I know all mysteries? Do I have all knowledge? Do I get deeper, deeper, deeper? If I go don't get deep in the love of God, I am messed up. So if this morning we could break into this thing that can't fail, where is sickness going to remain in this building? Right now, cancer will be trembling, tumor trembling, diabetes trembling, high blood pressure trembling, crippled trembling, back pressure trembling, backache, back pain, arthritic condition trembling, eye problem trembling, praise God, glaucoma trembling, everything trembling because charity cannot fail. When charity come and sickness see charity, sickness have to back up shop because that love is greater than, more powerful than. It's the greatest weapon for God so loved the world. My God, Satan had the world so wrapped up, but God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. What was it? It was the love of God that released the grace of God. And that is why we are here this morning. Could somebody give God a shout in the house? So we know we are passed from death into life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abides in death. Still going to church. Fifteen. No. John roughing it up, you know. John going deeper. He that whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Now don't think I'm angry with you. I just read in the scriptures. Don't, don't bother to rush me and, and try to say, hey, preacher, say this. No, 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 no. 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 Whosoever hates his brother is a murderer. Yes. And you know that no murderer had eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive we the love of God. Because, whoo, this is a big one. Because he laid down his life for us, we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. No, 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 that is a huge one. They, they call it big one. Amen. See, please get quiet here. I think I'll read it again. Because that's so big, you have to take it in doses. I to repeat this one because the one is one fly over your head. Hereby perceive we the love of God because he had laid down his life for us, we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whosoever hath this world good and see his brother have need and shut it up his bowels of compassion from him. How dwelleth the love of God in him? Amen. Amen. Amen's getting light, bro. Amen. I say a long time some people don't like to ask how you're going, you know, because they're afraid. You say you're going bad and they could do with a raise, you could do with a sandwich, and they don't want to put out anything from their pocket. So that's a question they don't ask at all. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Open your mouth and ask them, how are you going? And if you have a $5 here and a $1 here and they're not going so good, take the 5 and give them it. And see God add to the $1 in this pocket here. That's a challenge I know, but I know people live that out. And you never know how much they have. But they're always giving, always cheerful, always helpful, always blessing. It's something that they choose to do. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. All right. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and truth. And hereby we know we are in truth and shall be assured in our hearts. Okay. First John 4. Almost, almost done this part. After this part I got this morning right there in the office to bring this part to you. <laughs> Beloved, let us love one another for love is of God and everyone that loveth is born of God 
and knoweth God. Hallelujah. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Amen. In this was manifested the love of God towards us, because that God sent his only begotten son into the world, that we might live through him, hearing his love, not that we love God, but that he loved us, sent his son to be a propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so love us, we ought also to love one another. Amen. No man had seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us. Amen. And his love is perfected in us. Amen. Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he had given us of his spirit. Amen. Verse 16, and we now have known and believed the love that God had to us. God is love. He that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. This is the last scripture I have here. Herein is our love made perfect, Amen. that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. What is he saying? As you walk towards love, you get less fear fear Amen. follow after charity as you walk in love the fear of men the fear of failure the fear of falling the fear of mistakes all of that begin to dissolve Amen. because you're walking in the love of God nothing could hurt you or harm you because you're in the will of God he that fear it is not made perfect in love we love him because he first loved us if a man say I love God and hated his brother, he's a liar. Yeah. For he had he had that loveth not his brother whom he had seen. How can you love God whom you are not seen? Right. And this commandment have we from him that he who love God, love his brother also. Amen. Oh, praise God. Do you love the Lord this morning? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. For a message called love, but Abraham, I say this tonight as a minister of the gospel. I've tried, I have had the privilege of preaching around the world before tens of thousands of people, and every divine promise in the Bible is true. And if you take the right mental attitude towards any of God's divine promises, it will bring it to pass. Amen. If you can take the right attitude. Yes, Our scripture tonight is God so loved the world. And if there's anything that the world is dying for today, is love. Amen. In my travels, I find that. It's the rejected stone that keeps the building from being fit together. Where the assemblies in the church of God, the Baptist, Methodists, will shake hands and be brothers if they just had love one for another. That is the great need the world is dying for. And God is love. And you find the church, that what's hindered the church has been a wrong conception of love. Now love, there are two different types of love. That's real love. One of them is a Greek word called agapo. That's God's love. And there's a perverted love called filio love, which is human love. Filio comes from the word fellowship. The filio love is what you have for your wife. A man might flirt with her or insult her. You will shoot his brains out over her. That's what filio love will do. It accompanies jealousy and many other things goes with it. But agapo love will make you pray for his sinful soul. That's the difference between the two loves. God's love is the beginning of love. It's the fountain of love. And the church today is lacking in that. Right. That real agapo love that makes you have love for your enemy. Amen. And if we only had that kind of a love, there will be a revival sweep this nation from coast to coast, from north to south. And the reason that we do not have that love, the main reason the church is not progressing like it should. We don't need theology. We need real love to go with theology we already know. We don't need another doctrine. We don't need another mystery. We had them for 40 plus years. What we need is the spirit. Love. Dynamics. The Holy Ghost. Charity. Love divine. To come upon what you already know. Hallelujah. We only need love, real love, to go with the theology we already know. We all argue so much whether we should be baptized forward, backwards, whatever more. But that don't make any difference. How you're baptized or what church you belong to or what evidence that you have that you're a Christian. If you haven't got love, you haven't got God. We need love. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now when love is projected and come to its end, sovereign grace produced to project what that love projected. 
Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Brother Branham from my new ministry, Jessenville, Brother Branham. As soon as I return from California, the Lord willing, what the Branham Tabernacle needs is a revival. They need a revival and a filling of the Holy Ghost. And that's the great need of the tabernacle. Some of the finest people in the world comes here, but what we need is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I feel it. I can tell it. And as soon as we return back, if the Lord willing, we're going to have a revival for that very purpose. That's the members of this tabernacle and other people who are seeking the Holy Ghost might come in and give instructions and everything, have prayer meetings in here to receive the Holy Ghost. And that the church might get back into the will of God and move on with the program of God as it moves on. Oh, hallelujah. So Baram himself saw the need for the Holy Ghost in his church. Isn't that right? So he said, what God calls foolish, what man's called foolish, God called great. So that we have got to do is to get back into the program of God. Are you in God's program? Or are you coming to church? You have to know the program of God and you know you're in the program of God. Then no devil could throw you off beat. No devil could throw you off balance. Because you're in God's program. It's God's program for you you're here this morning. Because he said don't forsake the assembling of yourself together. As the manner of some is. You can't still man listen to books and just play tape. That's the purpose to get me in the church. There's a purpose to be in fellowship. There is unction and, and, and words coming from God that you need to hear and need to know. But more than that, it's only in this environment you could get to access brotherly kindness. Only in a group scenario can somebody mash your corn, mash your toes, affect your life, frustrate your life. And only in this circumstance you could get the opportunity to forgive and repent and say forgive me. Say I'm sorry. Say I'm wrong. Bless God to be in a group that feels the spirit of God. So somebody upset you, you're in the right place. Somebody hurt you, you're in the right place. You're feeling bad about this one, you're in the right place. What you gonna do about it? Christian man, Christian woman, what you gonna do about it? Oh, hallelujah, this word gonna live. It's going to thunder. The devil gonna be stunned. Because it look like the honey won't stick. But the honey will stick. Oh, give the Lord a shout. Now watch. All this forgiveness, forgiveness, most of the time it's just talk. Just words, just mouth going. There is something I call the spirit of forgiveness. Until you get into that spirit, it's a forgiveness yet. When you get in the spirit of forgiveness, it's really forgiven. Right. It's really released. Right. It's really, it's come true because you're in the spirit of it. Hallelujah. 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 Now you're going to need the spirit of forgiveness in order to approach charity. No, we get into this something. Because he said we have to come to this ministry. What ministry? The ministry of Jesus Christ. We have to come to the king. You can't just walk up to the king. You have to have on the right dress. Amen. That's the thing with Esther. Amen. Esther was getting instructions of how to dress. Amen. You couldn't just go in like that. But because of the press, we have to go. Amen. Esther said, if I perish, I perish. Amen. But I'm going in the presence of the king. Amen. Who is the king? The capstone. Charity, love. So we've got to get back into the program of God and find out, here we go, what God wants us to do. And the only way I know to do it is prayer. Could you say that again, Barovit? Sure. Sure. We have got to do, we have got to get back into the program of God Hallelujah. and find out after all what God wants us to do. Right. And the only way I know to do is prayer. Right. Prayer is the key. That's, right. That's the answer. Hallelujah. Prayer changes things. Hallelujah. Prayer is the most powerful weapon that was ever put in the control of a human being. So when you bow your head, and open your mouth. It's a weapon of warfare. One time Jesus 
Before Lazarus, he said, Lord God, I know that thou always hearest me, but for their sakes. <laughs> he was in a different realm altogether. That power of that prayer. That's why you should keep on praying. Because your prayer could ricochet in heaven. Angels dispatch based upon your prayer. I've heard the cries of my people and I've come down. Today you could just walk on heal. Totally, completely. Right now. Completely. But the man had a prayer line. And there was an Indian lady from Apache. An Indian. She had crutches and so on. And she came up on the platform with her crutches. And when she got up there, she just handed him the crutches and walked back off. He didn't have to pray for her. Her faith was so anointed. Her faith was so anointed. Another woman, she was in a wheelchair. She got a prayer cloth and she put that prayer cloth on her legs and said, Satan, come out of there in the name of Jesus. Thou crippled spirit. And she come out of the wheelchair. Why don't you get out your wheelchair this morning? How many want to go free, free, free this morning? That's what I'm here for. To set you free. By the power of the word and preaching. To cast the devils off of your life. That you can worship and give God praise. And once your devils start to move off of you, up goes the hands. Lips going to praise God. They're going to begin to worship. God wants to drop a robe over you. God wants to drop an anointing upon you. You feel his presence. You know he is here this morning. All right. Okay. Let's get down in the honey jar. From the contest. Brother Brown praying. 1962. 31st of December. He got a vision of the seven angels, he knows something about the break that come in 1963. Here he is under expectation. Hear his prayer. Make us fit servants. Forgive our past. Bless our future. Guide us, O oh God, with thy mighty hand, Jehovah. Bless these ministers here. Bless all the laity, all the visitors. Be thou with us, Lord. We are your servants. We give ourselves holy to you for 1963 year coming that hear the words the power of your spirit might have more preeminences in our life in our being help us god forgive us and help us he is saying i'm the prophet i can't pray for no forgiveness help us we pray listen raise up mighty men Not sit down, mighty men. Raise up, mighty men. Not even mighty men to play tapes. Raise up, mighty warriors of the faith. Open this year, which is 63 coming. Lord, that hidden manna, that rock beneath the rock, that we might see the program of God. Cap off the pyramids of our life. That year, 1962, he preaches touch a perfect man. Yes. Faith and virtue and knowledge. So he understood all of that. Amen. So he is praying, Amen. looking for the cap. Amen. Not on the people there because they, 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 they wasn't there in that. He knew what he was looking for. Yes. Cap off the pyramid of our lives. Lord, put the capstone Christ Jesus upon each and every one of us. May his great, magnificent, holy blessing be upon us all. May the fire of the Holy Ghost come upon us. May the power, here we go, of the resurrection be manifested. Amen. Lord, Lord, we thank you. We are yours. We give ourselves fully to you. Amen. What a prayer. Amen. Rock beneath the rock, open up. Yes. That we might see the program of God. Yes. Then put on the capstone. Yes. Cap the pyramid of our lives. Yes. What is he saying? Someday you're going to wake up to understand a pyramid was being built in you. Come on now, ride with me. Ride with me. Don't, 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 don't slow down now. Some, one day you're going to wake up and recognize a pyramid was being built in you. And you're going to have to ask God to cap the pyramid of your life. Hallelujah.
because the cap is promised isn't that right this great servant Moses message but Abraham but Moses had no fellowship not one thing in that 40 years was spoke that God did for him or anyway any supernatural he was out of fellowship and when the church gets out of fellowship with God miracles cease signs and wonders cease revival cease just moves right out when you when you get out of fellowship oh so he said the bride has not a revival as yet it will take them seven tunnels that means seven tunnels have to bring back the blood Amen. because the blood is what's going to bring fellowship Amen. and fellowship is going to bring revival yes. okay now the thing to do is keep is keep that's what i'm trying to say a while the love of god in your heart keep fellowshipping with him and he will add these other things just as we mature but, that, that, that's very important but I'm talking about somebody got the baptism Holy Ghost and say, shall I ask God for gifts? He said, and become a stuffed shirt. Because that's what people do. They get a little blessing, they get puffed up. So he said, no, don't do that. Let the Lord lead you and different things like that. So watch. I was, Keep fellowship with him and he will add these things, other things, just as we mature. Don't you think so? So Moses was out of fellowship, no fellowship. Dear, watch. No fellowship out there in a strange country among strangers, not his own people. She was his. The people there were Ethiopians and he was a Jew. Completely out of the reach of God, seemingly. Are you ready? Amen. And God all the time knowing that no matter how much of a mess that God, that man makes out of the program of God, God is going to straighten it out. Amen. No matter what mess is in this message, God will straighten it out. Moses was 40 years under silence. No man living. And God waiting for his time to reconnect back Moses to his commission and purpose. Nothing could stop it. Not his backsliding, not his running, nothing could stop it. And you're backsliding and running, that ain't gonna stop it. This happened, that happened, that ain't gonna stop it. The purpose that God put inside for your life, that must, must, must be accomplished because He said, My word shall not return unto me void. Oh, hallelujah! Glory to God, but it shall accomplish. Oh, praise Him, Lord. David said, God is my rock. Do you know what a rock is referred to? A rock is a revelation, like that was the Christ. David was crying out, saying, God is my rock, my revelation. Now, Peter, rock confession, which we know he would build his church on the rock, not Peter being a stone, as a Roman Catholic tries to say it, but Peter's confession of the revelation, that's the church. God will reveal it. Not a confession of this man, because later he backslid. Not, not a confession of him being the son of God because they knew he was the son of God. Amen. Peter just said it. But it, what it was, it was the revelation that had been revealed from heaven that he was the son of God. Amen. So it wasn't the words that was the son of God. Right. No, it was the fact that Peter heard from heaven Amen. that he was the son of God. Amen. That was divine revelation Amen. coming to Peter. Amen. And you have the ability Come on, I want to give a shout on that. Yeah. You have the ability yeah. to hear from God. Yeah. Don't let the devil tell you otherwise. Yeah. Don't let the devil tell you backslide, you cannot hear from God. Yeah. Don't let the devil tell you you sin, you cannot hear from God. The bride has the ability yeah. to hear direct from God. Blasphemous name, but I'm talking about rock confession. You cannot make a holy church. Amen. There's no such thing as a holy church. A holy organization. Right. The Holy Spirit can be preached in it, but in there you find good, bad, renegade, indifferent, and everything else. Amen. So Amen. organization cannot hold it. No. You cannot say we got it, none of the rest of them has it. Amen. No, sir. The Holy Spirit is poured out on individuals. Right. That should nail that thing down. Amen. The Holy Ghost is not poured inside your church. It poured upon individuals. Amen. Individuals are going to contain the Holy Ghost. Amen. Individuals are going to receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Individuals are going to possess the Holy Ghost. Amen. And nobody can stop your blessing. Amen. So that's why you have a right to shout like never before. Amen. Because your cup is about to run over. 
no God so long to pour out it's just because he couldn't find a space all along once once God see empty room hey hey look at this one somebody have three quarter room hey pour three quarter inside of you some people only have one eight just a little thing some people have no room it fall on your head and fall off come on give the Lord some praises people God went to turn you upside down, inside out, shake you up, turn your right, 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 and then pour it inside of you. Oh, glory to God. How many believe that? God wants your cup to run over. How many believe that? David said, my cup running over. That is when it's coming more than enough. <laughs> oh, you're not getting me this morning. That is when it's coming more than enough. More than you need. God just jamming it in. Oh, my cup pressed on and running over. He gives you some for your soul. He gives you some for your spirit. And then he jams it into your body. He's going to take over your conscience, your memory, your affection, your reasoning. He's going to press it. You'll be anointed of God. Perfect standing, perfect state. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. You talk about anointed. You have seen nothing yet. We told God to begin to anoint the sons of God for this hour. Direct inspiration, direct revelation, hearing direct from God. Oh my! This tabernacle, they say, this tabernacle is not a Holy Ghost tabernacle. There's no such a thing. So why people trying to peddle that? Come here, come here. No wonder why Jesus tell it. When they say low here, low there, don't go. Amen. Jesus said so. He's in the desert. He here, he here, he here. He where? He said, Behold, the kingdom is within you. Now, now if the kingdom is within you, you have to go everywhere. When you recognize the kingdom is within you, wherever you go, the kingdom goes. <laughs> You gotta look here and look there, you're free. What the Hebrews say, we receive a kingdom that cannot be moved. That's why you will be a Christian in Switzerland, you'll be a Christian in Africa, you'll be a Christian in America, wherever you go. It doesn't matter if they put you on a small island with just six other people, you'll still be a Christian wherever you live, wherever you go, because a Christian is a Christian. Nobody can change that. God put a rock in your soul. Glory to God. This church don't make you that. God makes you that. Oh, give the Lord a shout. Listen, what we preaching here already tried, you know. It's tried stuff, you know. We talking about live voices, you know. People live this out already, you know. The three little boys, they went in fiery furnace. They were still Christians. They put Daniel in lions then. He was still a Christian. Amen. Hallelujah. They even put Samson in prison. And Samson still come on Christian. Amen. Once more, Lord. Amen. You can hear what I'm saying. Amen. Praise God. Don't try that. Amen. Don't try that. Don't think Samson wasn't a Christian. He backslid, but he was restored. Amen. Oh, give the Lord a shout. Amen. And Samson had more power than ever before. Amen. He destroyed more enemy than ever before. Oh, give the Lord a shout in the house. Amen. Let me see that. Let the devil know you are double trouble. Amen. Praise Amen. God when he bang you up and what that you coming back. You coming back double heavy, man. Amen. You coming back for total war. You coming back to take back what the devil took from you. Amen. You had no right to take on my eyes. Amen. You had no right to take my wife, my husband, my children, my fire. You had no right. You see, it. you see, you see, we come into church, you're getting like a mental revolution because you come from sinner to come to recognize your inheritance. Ooh, how is this line with inheritance? So, take it natural. You have nothing, you're poor, you're struggling, whatnot. All of a sudden, somebody, some uncle, and say, Well, you know, they have a deed. What, what, what is that? Something on a paper and my, and my name on it. Let's say you can't read or write. Some uncle come and say, You know what? You have two acres of land, you have a house there on top there, and everything up there. And what does he really? You can take up the seat. When you're going up and see it now, you see squatters lining on it. 
and what that and you're timid and you're shy and you have no confidence. You can't tell me when last you got a good meal, you can't tell me when last you got good shoes, you have holes in your shoes and whatnot. But but the uncle come and say that land is yours and whatnot. You go and tell people, uh, this, this is mine. They start to laugh at you. And then you get instructions how to go to the lawyer, attorney named Jesus, the enforcer, to enforce what he died, what he redeemed. Because they find out he died to make the deed effective. He died to bring this paper to life. Now watch. You may be seated. All the time the devil laughing because you're starting to make claims and nothing happening. This is my ch I claim it. I claim it. He's keep on claiming it now. But if you take on here, you go stop. Keep on claiming it. But no, when you go to the lawyer, when you go to charity, when you go to the enforcer, then the devil recognize something's at a move now. Because you're getting back up. You're getting support. See, I'm coming back, you know. You stay there. I come back with power. I have a promise. You shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost come upon you. And you shall be witnesses. I ain't come back with the books and tapes. I ain't coming here saving no paper notice. I come here to take back what you took from me. I'm taking back my joy. I'm taking back my prayer life. I'm taking back a revival. An old-fashioned home-brewed revival. I want a revival that I don't have to go to church for. I want it in my house. I want it in the kitchen. I want it in the drawing room. I want it in the gallery area. I want it in the backyard. I want it in the front yard. I want an old-fashioned home-cooked revival. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give the Lord a shout in the house. This revival is demon chasing. This revival is hell raising. Demon chasing. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Home cooked. I like that. Not a fast food revival. The fast food ones just come. My God. Die out. Hallelujah. Just as fast as you get, as fast as you go on. Here's a fast food revival. Hallelujah. But go to old home cooking revival. Yes. Every day, you're reviving. Yes. Every day, you're adding gas. Every day, you're cleaning the lamp. Every day, you're adding oil. Give me oil in my lamp. And when the lamp gets suited up, you clean it and you get good light. Every day. You charge up every day. You're in the word. Every day. You're in the spirit. You're seeking the Lord daily until every one of these virtues is in the stature of man. Till I become a manifestation of Jesus Christ. For he took my place. Lord, let me take his place. That's the purpose he died for. Amen. Hallelujah. Who you following a man? No, you're following after charity. You're seeing how he walks. You're seeing how he lives. In the watch. So watch. Then this tabernacle, the, the, the individuals, they are the tabernacle that contain the Holy Ghost. Now, here's part I want to get to. Now, the honey represent brotherly love, brotherly kindness, which is the age I just got through telling you, brotherly kindness is the age we live in now. Now, you might say, I sure don't like Brother Neville. I sure don't like Brother Jones. I don't like Brother so and so, but something like that. But let something happen to him. Your heart is broke. It just nearly kills you. We can obtain brotherly kindness and feeling for one another to maintain it in a group. Why do you care for that brother? Because you broke bread with him at the altar. You fellowship with him. You shook his hands. You worship with him. He's your brother. Listen, he might do something in the flesh that you would disagree with because you kind of say you oughtn't to do it. Shun him a little bit. But at the bottom of your heart, if something happened to that brother, it will then he kill you or that sister. I'm an old man. I have once young and now I'm old. I've seen it through the ages. Here people say, I won't have no more to do with him. And something happened to that man, it nearly kills him. Oh God, I let my precious brother go without making friends with him. See? Wow. It's brotherly love. Here we go. It looks like it won't stick. But it does stick. The honey, it sticks. Real honey. It have the fast food honey, you know. It's just sticking at all and it's just a fast thing. A temporary, temporary thing. So each age, each one of these age had that rock confession. And brother, I'm talking about uh, the slain sleeping, waiting, 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 see, until this age. But soon the Holy Ghost being poured out from Christ will come and seal up the church. Then the church will be raptured. 
It will be a complete unit of the Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Could you take some more? The other night, I made a statement at the pulpit saying this, that I would rather see brotherly love existing among the church if we didn't have one case of divine healing or anything else. We must know what these things are for. I'd rather have a church, listen, just a moment, I would rather have a church that knows nothing about spiritual gift and just be so in love with each other and with Christ. I'd rather have that than every spiritual gift operating in the church. Now, I know that might sound hard in a Pentecostal group, but I would rather have it where there is gifts, they would fail. Where there is gifts, they'll be conf bring confusion. Where there is gifts, they can be questioned. But where there is love, it's perfect. That's right. So if you have perfect love, you'll have perfect gifts. That's right. So work first with love. That brings fellowship. And fellowship brings gifts. So when people switch off the switch and fall in the darkness, there's no fellowship. It's as evidence there is no love. Because you don't have to agree with me to fellowship with me. We don't have to believe the same thing for you to be a friend with me. There are people evil toward each other in church, but they're talking to unbeliever in their job. They're talking to people they don't know. They will go and eat dinner with them. They will go and have fellowship with them. And that is not a problem. But they have a big problem to repent and repent and to somebody that they offend in church. Whether you say hallelujah or not, that doesn't bother me. Eh? I kind of proof that long time. I, I don't, that don't bother me. Whether you see amen or not, as long as I'm speaking what I believe God lay upon my heart, that's it. Whether your face hard, whether you say, don't, don't say that, doesn't matter. I'll say it still. Amen. That's just how I am built. I'm getting to know how I am built. Amen. Just have to bring the word and just slam it in. Amen. The bride just eats it all up. Amen. Because she loves her husband. Her mate, yes. the revealed word. Yes. So once they're hearing the revealed word, they say, that's mine, that's mine. Come on, preacher, give it to me, give it to me. Yes. Don't hold back, give it to me. Yes. I don't want to hear a dream like I had last night. No, give it to dream. You wouldn't like to know what I dreamed last night. All right. So now work with love first. Love brings fellowship. Fellowship brings gifts. You see, what the world needs today is a filling. A filling. And when the dumping out comes, it needs a filling. What does that filling do when it comes in? What does the filling do? What it does? Where you have doubts, it brings faith. Where you have indifference, it brings love. Where you have hatred, it brings fellowship. So this message needs a big dumping in of the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. And when the church of the living God someday will be united under one great head, that will be the head of God go into the unity of the body of Christ will be the governor and the king and the lord over the entire church under his control. Amen. That head will not be the pope. That will be the lord himself. Amen. Could you take a little more? Amen. We have more. It's coming. Watch. You're talking about the Lutheran church lost their light. Woman they lost coin. The Pentecostal church lost their light and so on. He said, but watch. I don't care if you're a Methodist. She had a house cleaning time. She scrubbed the floors. She swept the walls. She took down the cobwebs. She kept on until she found what she had lost. And when she did, she called her little sister churches to come now. I don't care if you're a Methodist. Here we go. Baptist, Pentecostal, Presbyterian. Let us rejoice together when that time comes. Prophecy. When the church finds this brotherly love. So the prophet knew it would be absent. He prophet knew it would be something that was lost. But he also knew we would find it. When the church finds this brotherly love. When the church finds this holy decency. When the church finds its place in Christ. It will call to the members of the body. Come and rejoice with us. God wants the church to love him. People love their pastor but he wants the church to love him. Now, you know, a confession, a decision is a confession. A confession is a stone. He said, what good is due to pile up a bunch of stones if you haven't got a stone cutter? Here we go. To shape them by a sharp to edge sword of the word into sons and daughters of God. So the object of the word coming to us is to shape us. Not for us to get a blessing on a Sunday, but for you to be shaped. 
because you are a stone i want to say a living stone a lively stone but you have to be cut to be fitted in some people like themselves they don't want to change because they are satisfied with themselves but when you get trouble in your spirit that you are not all right you need something more then you can say lord chip me hone me cut me amen hallelujah oh praise god so watch let them run around here with all kind of women dressed like skin down weaner and call themselves christian men letting them do it and calling themselves servants of christ and the church in a lukewarm condition we need stones here we go cut into sons and daughters of god Amen. that's why the prophet when he left he left a ministry on the earth to continue bringing the word say what the tape say that we could be cut to be shaped Amen. another time he said make yourself a christian Hallelujah. you know that instant christian is have a, a, a tablet to pop it inside you and become a christian you're baptized and become a christian no you make yourself a christian Amen. you overcome you pray you press you turn your head from them women out there yes yes you overcome your jealousy and envy you die out to yourself make yourself a christian you said i want to be a christian you're going to be a christian speak it express it walk in it glory to god hallelujah i've been saying some time ago action is cause inertia just happens but action is cause you have to do something for something to happen hallelujah if you're just drifting in life you just keep drifting don't be like that driftwood. It just drift wherever the current takes it. Take it, but be a wood that is cut and hewn. Attach your engine to it like a boat, and it can guide you somewhere. But a driftwood, wherever the current going, you go into the current going. So you go into so you go into so wherever the current going, he going. He's a driftwood, a log, and somebody can take that same log and cut it out, making it a boat. Put the engine, put the power on it, and it could be guided here, guided there, guided there. Not drifting. It's being directed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The same wood. Amen. Let's put it this way. Two trees fell. Amen. And one fall into the sea and he wanted to go. He said, I'm going down so. The road broad, it's wide. And the other one fall and said, I want to be in the ground. I want you to cut me. And the other tree said, I don't want to be cut at all. Leave me so. I like myself like I'm going. And that tree just going down that way. And afterwards, what happened? Hit the cataracts. It hit the fall. It crashes. To have people lies, you have cousins and family and whatnot. They take their choice and they leave off Christ. And they have good businesses and good money and good everything else. Only they see at the end, they recognize it wasn't worth it at all. The only thing that counts is what comes to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. All the styles, all the fashion, all the shoes. All what you want and you get it. Only to understand, well, do you have Christ? We need stones cut in the sons and daughters of God. What good does it do to roll up the stones if you're not going to have them cut? they got to be cut to fit into the program of God by gifts and calling. Oh, glory to God. Amen. So to your rock revelation, you have to have forgiveness. To your faith, you have to get forgiveness on top of that. God help us in this place. My God, I want you to exercise yourself in it. Glory to God. Amen. You know, we are grandparents. We children stay by us and so on. And when they learn to turn over, and the guy discovered he could turn over from his belly to his back. And the first time I was like a shock. Afterwards, but you don't know what happening. Afterwards, he recognized there's a way to go. Nature said turn over, and they turn over. You know what I recognize now? They practice. They practice it until they get it perfect. Another one is time to sit up and he do all kind of antics and whatnot, and then he sit up. Say, Whoa. I mean, he said, Who put him so? I said, Nobody. You know, he's up. First time he's up. And afterwards, he's doing, he doing it again. Why? It's nature calling. He's not an animal, he's a, he's a human being. They're going to sit, they're going to stand, they're going to walk. You're not an animal, you're a son of God. You're going to sit, you're going to stand, you're going to walk, you're going to talk, you're going to speak, you're going to create, you're going to manifest, you're going to get vindicated, you'll be adopted. Come on, give the Lord a shout and all. But you have to begin to exercise. You have to begin to get some practice. You have to begin to walk in love. You have to begin to forgive. 
look for people to forgive them. <laughs> oh, good Lord, they said to you, I'll be crazy this morning. The pastor going crazy. Look, look for the opportunity to repent. What are you doing? You're exercising. When last you said somebody forgive me? Forgive you. When last you say that? That comes out your mouth. Some people are so proud. <coughs> All right, you know the things, you know what it is. In the past, now, you know. Did I not it? You, you haven't said the words yet. Forgive me, I'm sorry. No, you want to say forgive me. You remember, remember what happened a long time? All, all right, you remember? Okay, okay, okay. That, that is not forgive me. You know. That is just remembering what happened a long time. Until you come out your mouth. I am so sorry that, that I made you feel hurt and bad. And we talk about the man, love his wife, they had a quarrel or whatever it is. In the morning, in front of the neighbors, kiss his wife on the goodbye, and he's walking on the road. But it's it not right. That is the tradition of the elders. That's intellectual. That's mechanic. Then he turned around and come and give his wife a proper kiss. Then he got in the spirit of the thing then. That was the real one. The first one, bogus. The first one was an imposter. The first one was bogus. The second one was the real one. But let's get real people. Come on, let the forgiveness get real. Ah! Not only you forgiving others, you know, but you accepting God has forgiven you. Because some of you walk around condemning your own self and God has nothing to do with that because Jesus dropped the charges. Dismiss your case. Let me see if I get it. Intermediate evangelism. Barbara says, watch, confession is a stone. That what Peter, good stone. Now watch, you're piling up a bunch of rocks. Is that right? It isn't doing a bit of good. The water wear it away the stone. So all these books and tapes and the message sweeping over the stones. It's not doing good. Only getting smooth stones. The stones getting weary. Hear what he says. But you got watch. You haven't got a true stone mason with a good sharp tool to shape you into fitting place in the house of God. That is what is needed. Real stone mason. Packs. Packs. Don't move. We get in true. Pax. Oh, give the Lord a shout in the house. Stone mason with a hammer and a chisel because you are lively stones. That you God called out the darkness to show forth his praises. That is why you should be praising God continually. That is end time evangelism. Amen. Taking stones and shaping them. Amen. If the stone mason isn't there, they will shape them and make them quit this and that and cut them and make them this way. Praise God. Right. Isn't that right? right? Wife, obey your husband. That's the word. Amen. Some women think they're more spiritual than the men. And they look like they try to lead the man by the ears or something like that. Where you ask, where are you getting that from? And because of some kind of thing and you're feeling so super spiritual. And the man feeling like, I don't know what. I'm, I'm, I'm coming on. Husband, love your wife. That's the word. You love your wife. And love is nothing. Just talk. And say, well, you, you know, I love, I love you. And she says, no. No, that way you get stumped. You know I love you. She said, no, I don't know that. I ain't feeling it. I ain't getting the vibes of it. I ain't getting the spirit of it. I say a bell is not a bell till you ring it. Because suppose they ring another side. You're looking like a bell. When you do so, nothing. A song is not a song till you sing it. It could be a poetry. It could be a poem. Love wasn't given to stay. Love is not love till you give it away. Love has to be given. Come on now. You can't keep love. Wait. Give it. Show it. Give God that love from in your soul. That's what I love about David. He was a king. He was a warrior. But that man loved God. He fancy dancing wife. 
she, she, she couldn't handle him. When he saw the act coming on the road, they were started to dance, 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 dance. When he come home that way, the wife embarrassed. She said, King, 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 do supposed to dance like that? Them steps are moving there. You're supposed to move the front. Let somebody else dance with you. He said, Woman, come back tomorrow. He said, I'll now start. Hallelujah. You can't come and tell me I'm a son of God. You try to cramp my spirit, arrest my anointing, change my. You can't come and do that. When the act coming down, the world come back in the position. The joy of the Lord coming back in the house of God. The joy of the Lord is my strength. You tell me I can't dance? You got to be crazy. No longer under stress. I like what was a Ben Bagbo. Man said, like a, I was like a Ben Bagbo. I get in release. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm getting a way to express myself. This is the place to express your love for God. In the true spirit of worship. Thanksgiving unto God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Look at John. John was weeping. John in heaven, in heavenly places, seeing all kind of wonders and, and signs, of weeping. Nobody would really take the book. When the Lamb took the book, oh, John break away. John just get loose. John started to scream and shout. He said, all under heaven, all on the earth, his voice started to go in different dimensions. All under heaven, all on the earth. He had no amplifier. He had no DJ. Making music and making a big set of noise. He was making noise all by himself. He was hearing himself and everybody was hearing him. My God, what a shout to see the book taken. That means our inheritance has been restored. Power has been restored. The authority has been restored. The manifestation of sons of God has been restored. More than that, the gap to that pyramid finally is coming. Gap in stone. What's that? The love of God. What's that? Charity. Not never fail. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. So he called the elect Lutherans to make the Wesleyans. He called the elect Pentecostal to make what? To make the headstone to come into it. The very same kind of ministry. He calling the elect Pentecostal to make up the headstone. The bride, you. What? What? To call you all. Because you know we don't have a pyramid here. But between brotherly kindness and L-O-V-E is a slot. That's, that's the bride age. That's the Holy Spirit slot. That's where the rainbow is at. He called you out of Laodice to fit you inside of there. A fitted stones. And I didn't complete last week, but we have to be fitly joined together. It's not one man making up that slot. So I can't do without you because you are part of this thing here to make up that body that the spirit could come on. Understand this when the bride is taken off the earth, but Abraham said the spirit leaves the earth. The bride will be the container of the spirit of God. When the bride is taken up, the spirit leaves and there will be judgment. Vials upon the face of the earth. Nothing to hold back the wrath of man and God. Oh, hallelujah. But Abraham said they will do whatever they want to do because there's no spirit there to hold them back. When the spirit is there, God could stop this and the spirit could influence somebody away from this. But when the spirit is removed, it's forget it. Hallelujah. Devil take the hand most. Oh, hallelujah. I don't want to be here for that. I am preparing to get out of here. Oh, glory to God. Who will go with me? But I'm getting out of here. I'm preaching to get out of here. I'm on my way out of here. Oh, glory to God. Amen. So he's calling out the elect Pentecostal to make the headstone to come into it. So he was making the cap as it was to cap the pyramid. Isn't that right? No. This is a quote. This is a powerful quote. He was the rejected stone. And here we go. Those stones. Are you ready? Everybody awake? Anybody sleeping awake? Raise your hands. Nobody raise your hands. That's good. Nobody is sleeping. I can't afford you to sleep on this one. This one's too important. And then those stones. Here we go. That fit around the headstone. <laughs> will have to be so completed like that stone. So there are stones going to be fitting around the headstone, which is love. So as we near the headstone, more of that love supposed to be dripping, coming down. Now, if the spirit of Christ is in you, it makes you live the life of Christ, act the life of Christ, do the life of Christ. We have got a ministry coming. What exactly like the life of Christ? What will that ministry identify? The coming of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. 
Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So Joseph had that rainbow coat, right? Yeah. And that coat, Bram says, that represented the robe of seven colors was upon Joseph, was upon Jesus, was the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The body was covered with a robe. The church is not you. It's the Holy Ghost that got you covered. Amen. From Hebrews, seven is complete. God was complete. Seven spirits. Those spirits were perfect. The first was the color of red, perfect love, redemption, and how we had time and so on. He said those colors represent the motives of God, the attitude of God. Those seven colors represent seven churches. Isn't that right? All those spirits, seven spirits, Hallelujah. makes up what? In Revelation, it makes up God was perfection. And the only way we could come back to the perfection is to come back to that perfection, which is God. In other words, we have to come back to that seven perfect spirits. All those seven virtues flowing into your life. Here's what I want to get to. The motives of it, if you just get it for somebody, that's different. If a man is guilty and Lot, here we go, had went down and backslid, though he was a Hebrew, he went down and was backslid, he was in grace, but he had fallen from it, and Lot was saved. Don't ever think Lot wasn't saved. He was. Because all the time, when he was in the wrong place, the Bible said the sins of Sodom vexed his righteous soul daily. Now his flesh was doing one thing, but what was his end? He brought more disgrace. His wife turned to a pillar of salt. He had children by his daughter. So you see what the disgrace had brought? Because he had fallen from grace and never restored himself back again. But God had to take him out of the earth. But still, here we go. This is a big one. He was a fallen brother. Lot was. And Abraham done all that he could do Amen. to bring him back again. Amen. The spirit that was in Abraham is the spirit of Christ that is in the church today. Or should be in the church today. Doing what? Doing all that you can do to bring back your messed up fallen backslidden brother Amen. who out of favor with God Amen. but the spirit of Christ will come with the ministry of reconciliation Amen. to bring back your brother Amen. back into favor with God that is the spirit of Christ Amen. oh give the Lord a shout Amen. glory Amen. glory Amen. hallelujah Amen. no matter what the brother done Amen. no matter what the worst of sin, the worst of whatever condition, the filthiest of condition. That's what the blood is for. That's what Jesus died for. For the worst sin, for whatever fornication, adultery, lying, whatever condition it is. It doesn't matter. That's what the blood is for. That's what the attorney is for. That's what Jesus died for. He died for your sins, to redeem you from your sins, to deliver you from your sins, that you can go free. No matter what the brother has done, you will do all that you can to bring him back into fellowship of Christ again, no matter what he has done. Oh, glory to God. God, this some God keep his word, won't have a freak buddy. He won't have six fingers on one hand. It'll be five fingers on one hand. The body of Christ won't be a freak. When the last person comes in into the body of Christ, then it's over. Maybe over in Africa today, the last one will be brought in. Then the book is closed. But God will not have a freak body. Watch. Jesus has to come down himself at the head of the church and he will resurrect this church being his own body. There is the body and the way God is expecting us as individuals to grow is the way he brought the church to grow. Every two church to begin one church. Watch. These fellows required, watch. Okay, let me go. First, seven things. Faith, virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience, godliness, brotherly love, add brotherly kindness, and then the love of God. The Holy Ghost. Christ, in the person of the Holy Ghost, comes upon you in the true baptism of the Holy Ghost. When you get all these virtues sealed in you, then God lives in a tabernacle called the building. The living tabernacle of the living God's dwelling place. And when a man possesses these things, then the Holy Ghost comes upon him. 
no matter you might speak with tongues no matter impersonary gift but you still might do that but until these virtues go into you you are still off the real true foundation of faith and then these virtues grow in and you add to that then you are living monument you are living moving idol hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. where i'm going with all of this well on the message got the guide Boron says if god give a duck enough sense to dodge the coldness how ought he give the church if a duck can by instinct what about the holy ghost in the church it ought to lead us from formalities and creeds into a glorious wonderful baptism of the holy ghost that brings virtue and knowledge and patience so since the prophet left the guide was supposed to guide us to this oh my you should be shouting since the prophet left the guide was supposed to guide the people not the ministerial associations not the message popes and bishops but to this year to watch the church watch it ought to lead us from formalities and creeds and things into a glorious wonderful baptism of the holy ghost where it brings virtue and knowledge patience godliness and the holy spirit that's what the real guide will lead because he will breed nothing else but the gospel oh hallelujah glory when that which is perfect is come and we have it today by god's help the perfect interpretation of the word with divine vindication perfect interpretation of the word where you could see where you are and see where god wants you to be day without us not made perfect isn't that right oh hallelujah praise god praise god so the prophet said the people in the message their, their faith isn't ripe enough oh my god he's talking about the ripening of your faith we have to come into brotherly kindness which ripens your faith because faith is based on forgiveness faith is based on so therefore in the ripening of your faith it has to have the application of the blood of brotherly kindness isn't that right oh praise god praise god oh hallelujah i'm about to close oh praise be to jesus oh my 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 i want to bring something to you that brother coleman had brought out and this was such a blessing to me this is the 9th of june 1991 for a message to brotherly kindness at charity and in this message he fleshed out the contents of charity in a particular way that i want to bring it back to you hallelujah you know what obaram says may god uh, raise up men to make more sense to this message this make more sense to this whole thing called charity Amen. let me just bring it here to you now charity we are talking about is not some kind of society give goodwill and give some clothes and so forth and old shoes we're not talking about that kind of charity we're talking about agapo love Amen. spontaneous divine love there are nine ingredients i picked out of here in first corinthians 13 of divine love it's right in the scripture patience here we go this is love passive no hurry suffers long bears and believes and hope and endures all things you find that in verse four and seven kindness number two love in action never acts rashly or incidentally not inconsistent or puffed up or proud that's in verse four number three generosity love in competition not envious or jealous F number four humility love in hiding not running around you know a, a parade i'm a christian no heirs works does his things then retires out of the way it gets off the scene after good works drops off the food off it goes doesn't stand around how do you like that does it how does it taste no it's gone Amen. it's not looking for medals or merit watch number five courtesy love in society courteous does not behave unseemly always polite it don't push it don't shove always polite at home it's at home with all classes of people black white yellow red or indifferent it's still the same it don't just love the lovely it loves the unlovely all classes never rude or discourteous number six unselfishness love in essence never selfish sour or bitter seeks only the good of others doesn't run others down it lifts others up seek only the good in others does not retaliate and seek revenge number seven good temper love and disposition never irritated never resentful 
Number eight, righteousness. Love and conduct. Hate sin. Never glad when others go wrong. Always gladdened by the goodness to others. Always slow to expose. Charity hides a multitude of sin. Number nine, sincerity, love and profession. Never boastful or conceited. Not a hypocrite. Always honest. Leaves no impression but what is strictly true. Amen. Never self-assertive. Does not blaze out in passionate anger. Why did she do this to me? I don't understand. Always joyful, truthful. Knows how to be silent, full of trust. Always present. Praise God. Though we speak with the tongues of men and angels and have no charity and become a song in brass and a tinkling cymbal. Don't you understand the mission of the rapture? If you don't have charity, it don't mean a thing to you. Do I understand all the thunders? All these things. It means nothing to you until you have charity. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So that's it. How many appreciate that word now? So I have it listed. I want to go it over. Number one, patience. Love, passive. Let me just take this here. I just want to read it back. You don't have to find it. Do I bestow my goods to feed the poor? Do I give my body to be burned? Have no charity? It probably nothing. Charity suffered long and is kind. Charity envied not. Charity vaunted not itself. Is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly. Seek it not on own. Is not easily provoked. Think it not no evil. Rejoice it not in iniquity. This is charity. You talk about charity, the love of God. This is it here. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice it in the truth. Bear it all things. Believe it all things. Hope it all things. Enjoy it all things. Charity never fail. There's some people like to hear back and I like to hear evil, like to hear, like to say this thing happened to this one and that one happened to this one. Like to point out faults and failures and shortcomings. They love that. That is not charity. We just read what charity is. Rejoice it not in iniquity. Hallelujah. But rejoice it in the truth. Oh, praise God. Number one, patience, love, passive. No hurry, suffers long, bears, and believes and hopes on the old, old things. Number two, kindness, love in action. Number three, generosity, love in competition. There's some people, they can't, they don't like to lose. They're not generous. Somebody wins something, somebody looking good. They can't say congratulations. That's a hard thing. It's them or nobody else. It's all about them. Humility, love in hiding. No parade. Courtesy. I like this one. Love in society. Courteous. Does not behave itself unseemly. Always polite. Number six. Unselfishness. Love in essence. Never selfish, sour, or bitter. Seeks only the good of others. Number seven. Good temper. Love in disposition. Musician, come up, please. Number eight. Righteousness. Love in conduct. Hate sin. Number nine. Sincerity. Love in profession. Oh, praise God. But the Bible said this. I believe the time is coming. The manifestation of the gifts that's given to every man that profit all. I believe gifts are wonderful. We need them and respect them. And I believe the time coming when it's going to be in a higher standard than that. After all of these things is done away, that which is love will endure forever. It's the love of God. We'll be just standing, preaching like this, and love will just settle over the building. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. God. The message of grace, he said, it takes the sincerity, it takes the simplicity of believing God to make his words speak out, to show that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. It takes a humble heart dedicated to God to bring Jesus Christ into present tense. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. I close with one last scripture. From Mark 11, Jesus answers telling them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. And therefore I say unto you, that whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe you receive them, and you shall have them. And when you stand praying, forgive, if you have ought against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. If you do not forgive, Neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespass. Let's all stand and just begin to worship the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your blood, Lord Jesus. May you come down in a special way and 
minister to every heart here Jesus meet every need here by your Holy Spirit oh God we love you Lord we thank you for your presence we thank you for your word Lord. hallelujah have your way Jesus oh glory we worship you Lord we glorify your name we thank you for sending a prophet for sending Malachi forward sending servants Lord that make the word clearer make the word plainer to us and Lord we, we look into that love Lord Jesus oh hallelujah let's just wait with Lord right now oh we thank you Lord Jesus somebody in Jesus Just worship him right now. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, before I can even love you, Lord, you first love me, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, you shed your blood, Lord, Father. Oh, Lord, I seek after you, Lord. Oh, I love you this morning, Lord, Father. Oh, chased after you this morning Lord Father oh hallelujah 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 blessed be your name how many love the Lord this morning how many appreciate the word this morning oh follow after charity oh without love I am nothing oh blessed be a wonderful name Lord we love you this morning oh how many appreciate brother over this morning oh God bless you richly brother over oh 
Oh, what a masterpiece. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed to be a wonderful name. Let's sing that song. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. In my heart Lord, I want to be more loving Oh, Lord I want to be more loving In my heart In my heart Lord, I want to be more loving In my heart in your own way oh lord i want to be more loving lord father lord i want to be a better person lord lord i want to be a better christian lord father lord i want to be more like you lord jesus oh deep in my heart lord a better father lord god a better husband oh a better wife oh lord someone who can forgive oh hallelujah hallelujah Oh, when everything seems wrong, Lord, Father. Oh, Lord, help me to forgive, Lord. Oh, help me to display your qualities, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Speak to him, Lord, speak to him. Oh, blessed be a wonderful name. Lord, I want to be more like you, Lord. Oh, on the job, in the schools, with my friends. Lord, wherever I may go, Lord. With my neighbors, oh Lord, with my friends, Lord God, Father. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I close that walk with you, Lord. Oh, blessed be your name. Blessed be a wonderful name. Blessed be a wonderful name. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, as the brothers come forward. Oh, blessed be a wonderful name. How many you love the Lord this morning? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed to be a wonderful name. As we pick up this morning, Tyson offering, every head by every eye close. Oh, gracious Heavenly Father, Lord. As you're about to pick up a Tyson offering, Lord Father, Lord, I pray you bless the hands that have to give, Lord, and the hands that don't have to give, Lord. May you provide for them, Lord, so they can give them next time, Lord, and may you bless them in the part of the service. In Jesus' name I pray and ask it. Amen. And amen. Let's sing that song. There is honey in the rock, my brother. There is honey in the rock for you. There is honey in the rock, my brother. Oh, there is honey in the rock for you. Oh, leave your sins for the blood to cover. Oh, there is honey 
end of our uh, for you. There is honey, there is honey in the rock, my brother. Oh, there is honey in the rock for you. Oh, leave your sins for the blood to cover. Honey in the rock for you. Leave your sins, leave your sins for the blood to cover. Oh, there is honey in the rock for singing on one more time. Oh, there is honey in the rock, my brother. Oh, there is honey in the rock for you. Leave your for the blood to cover Oh, there is honey in the rock For singing one more time Oh, there is honey in the rock My brother Oh, there is honey in the rock For you Leave your sins Leave your sins For the blood to cover Oh, there is honey in the rock for you. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed to be a wonderful name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. At this time of our, our dedication, let's sing that song. Bring them in, bring them in. Oh, bring them in. Let us bring them in. Oh, bring them in from the fields of sin. Let us bring them in. Let us bring them in. Oh, bring the little ones to Jesus. Let's just bow our heads. Our gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, these parents brought their child into your house this morning to present her before the Lord. Father, and we lift up before your throne of grace and mercy under the shed blood of the Lord Jesus. I will present unto you and ask that your Holy Spirit will overshadow her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Lord, you protect her from harm, from danger, from evil, and from sickness. Lord, may anoint the parents to bring up this child in the fear and admonition of the Lord. May your love be upon them. May you provide for them. May you bless their breadbasket, Lord. And may you keep them, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We commit this child, Lord, me, me a London Philip, into your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Oh, we don't walk, oh, in the light, we don't walk, oh, in the light, we don't walk, oh, in the light. Oh, we don't walk, oh, in the light, we don't walk, oh, yes, in the light, oh, in the light, walk in the light. Sounds good, let's sing it one more time. We'll walk.
walk, walk in the walk, walk in the walk, walk in the light, walk in a little louder. This singing walk, walk in the light, oh, in the walk in. Oh, we'll walk, we'll walk, walk in the light, we'll walk, yes we will, hallelujah, oh, in the light, walk in the light of God, sounds so good, I can't stop now, we're walking in the light this morning, we're walking under the blood this morning, we're walking in the spirit this morning, we pledge to love the brethren, Oh, hallelujah! Glory to God! The shout of the King is in the camp. We're walking in the light, walking in the spirit. We're on fire this morning. There's no room for the devil. There's no darkness here this morning. It's the Holy Ghost on fire. Feels good in here this morning. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light of God. Can we give the Lord a shout of praise? What can we say? You appreciate the service this morning. You appreciate the word, the anointing, the singing, the musicians, everything this day. My, what a service. What a masterpiece. Thank you, Brother Ovid, for yielding yourself this morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But we do have some prayer requests before we close out in prayer. We want to remember Brother Ruskin Cummins in prayer. With that stomach condition, I believe he was in the hospital. Uh, Brother Stephen Oliveri struggling with the flu. We want to remember him in prayer. Brother Josiah Ababio from New York for a job interview this week. For Ellen Thomas in the county hospital in St. Vincent. From Brother Stetson Williams. Uh, from Sister Celeste Popwell for exams uh, this coming week. And if there's any other unspoken requests you want to show by a raise of hands as we approach the throne of God this morning. Can we bow our heads for a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, Lord, you said we have not because we ask not. And we come this morning, Lord, knowing our rights and our position in you, Father. Lord, for most of our lives, we have suffered from spiritual amnesia, but through this message of the hour, we come by revelation, knowing that we are born for such a time as this. Lord, and our predestination gives us access through your blood and through your grace to mercy. And we pray for mercy this morning. We pray for healing, Lord, at the children's bread. Lord, that you would touch Brother Cummings right now from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Lord, you know the situation better than any doctor. You know the situation better than the symptoms, Father. And your prophet declared these symptoms to be lying symptoms. Father, we curse that sickness right now in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord. And we know it's here, Father. You said there is power in the church of the living God over every sickness, over every disease. And this morning, Lord God, under the anointing of charity that can never fail, we speak a word of healing for Brother Cummins. We speak a word of healing for Brother Stephen Oliveri. We speak a word to New York, to Josiah Ababio, with that job interview may all be well. For Ellen Thomas in the hospital in St. Vincent who suffered a stroke, may your healing virtue drop down. For those that are doing exams this week, Lord, may they go in there with such a faith and a confidence and a boldness. And Lord God, we want to be so careful to give you the praise, the honor and the glory. We pray for our pastor right now that even now, Lord, uh, virtue power, even virtue power for service would drop down and may you touch him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. May you give him traveling mercies to go to the meetings in Cameroon and to London. May the pillar of fire drop down above his shoulder and may spirit spoken words, Father, Lord, be released over your people, Lord, your thirsty bride around the world. Lord, may you bless the ministers here, the 
elders, the deacons, the trustees, the ushers, the helps, the governments, the people. Lord, may you cover your people, Lord, as we walk in the light. May you cover your people, Lord, by your blood, Lord. May we be living examples of love in such a time as this. May this light shine out, arise, shine, for our light has come. May you grant traveling mercies, Lord, as we leave this house, but not your presence. May you bring us back at the appointed time. And Lord, may we grow closer to each other and closer to you. We commit each one into your hands in the precious name of Jesus Christ. And the church says, yeah. Amen and Amen. You may be seated for a few quick announcements. We certainly want to acknowledge Roseanne Susanna. Welcome to Headstone Tabernacle, invited by Sister Davis. We'd like to say welcome you. God bless you. And Brother Morellon, good to see you. God bless you, you and your wife, Simone, and your child, and uh, your daughters. Uh, may God rest you, bless you. Welcome to the house of the Lord this morning. So for our announcement, service continues this Tuesday in Maraval at 7.30. Come under great expectation. This coming Thursday, here at the Tabernacle as well, come under expectation. As Brother Ovid said, you have to bring your revival. And this coming Sunday, we are under great expectations for what God will do. An announcement for the young people on May the 28th, that's Saturday, May 28th. That whole weekend, I think there are about two holidays. I think the Thursday is a holiday, then Friday, there's another day there. And then Saturday, then Sunday, then Monday is another holiday. This is Trinidad. So, but that Saturday, there will be a hike for the young people. So... Um, further details on that will come out next week, Lord willing, but feel free to speak to Brother Stephen Kangley, Brother Jason Williams, Brother Adrian, Brother Andy. I think they're still kind of putting the pieces together, um, and you could begin to express your interest in that. The full details will come next week, Lord willing. We don't want to take this time to really put our hands together to acknowledge all the cleaning groups who have been working every single week. And they have been doing a really fantastic job. And um, I really want to appreciate not just the groups, but Brother Stephen Oliveri for really structuring this program to really divide the work so that it's not a burden on the same people every single week. So we really appreciate that and that labor of love uh, for the kingdom of God. And uh, we'd like those that are in group four to meet with Brother Marlon Alexander after service. And if you have not yet joined a group and you really want to put your shoulder to the wheel to assist in whatever way, feel free to speak to Brother Stephen or the different groups and feel free to join and help. And even if you are in one group and you feel super inspired to help out another group, you are totally welcome to do so. You know, we are not restricted to being in one group. If you want to, you know, be in another group, you are totally welcome to do so. And we also want to leave a last note of an encouragement with the upcoming convention. Time is moving very fast. We're just about six, seven weeks away from the convention. We do solicit your continued support, in particular financially. Uh, whatever you feel free to give, uh, the sisters will be downstairs collecting. Um, there's no set amount you give from your heart. We're looking for God to do something tremendous during that convention, 8th, 9th, and 10th of July. People are under expectation. We are looking for the sick to be healed. We're looking for backsliders to be restored. We are looking for demons that have been living in houses for a long time to get their final eviction notice because the enforcer is here. And we need to make room because we have a lot of young people who are struggling and waiting for us to come to perfection and come into power to speak them out of their condition. That's what we are preparing for, not just to come and have word and more word, but we are preparing for word and spirit to come together and for the dynamics to strike on our mechanics and for these mortal bodies to put on immortality. Can I get a witness in the house this morning? So beyond the natural, we want to encourage you to begin to take time out every week to pray. Fast. That you could do on your own. You don't need permission from the pastor to fast. You don't need permission to pray. You don't need permission to hold on to the horns of the altar because you are looking for your change to come. You are looking for your family to be delivered. You are looking for your son to be restored. And as we do that and you bring your fire and you bring your fire and the minister comes anointed, then God has to do something because he promised 
to deliver. He promised to heal. He promised to seal. And as Brother Branham said, Jesus didn't just heal because he felt like healing. He healed because the scripture said he would. He didn't deliver because he feel like delivering today. But the scripture said he will deliver. And God is obligated to bring the scriptures to pass. You being here this morning is scripture being fulfilled. And God cannot lie. He will not lie. Have a wonderful blessed week. Give the devil trouble because you are sons and daughters of the living God. May God richly bless you. Give the Lord a shout of praise as we prepare to leave this house. Hallelujah. Ushers, deacons, we'll walk in the light. We'll walk oh, in the light.